So let's begin in the words of our own baptism from the top of that page, page 268. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's remember why we baptize, what the Word of God tells us. So these words, dearly beloved, Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the last chapter of the Gospel of Mark, our Lord promises that whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. And the Apostle Peter writes later in 1 Peter that baptism now saves us. But the Word of God also teaches us that we are conceived and born sinful and under the power of the devil until Christ claims us as his own. We will be lost forever unless delivered from sin, death, and everlasting condemnation. But the Father of all mercy and grace has sent his Son, Jesus Christ, who atoned for the sin of the whole world, so that whoever believes in him would not perish, but have eternal life. And so, Paul and Elisa, having a child makes you mindful of the fact that God has given you a huge responsibility. You've got a responsibility not only financially, you've got a responsibility emotionally, physically to care for a child, but you also know you have a spiritual responsibility too. And that's why you came and you said, we want Noah baptized. You know that by the fact that you chose his name. And so I want you to say out loud his name, saying that you accept that responsibility as God's given to you, and you're asking for God's help to be able to fulfill that responsibility. So the two of you say his name together. Beautiful. Noah, Mark, Stephen, you've been marked with the cross of Jesus Christ on your forehead and on your heart to show that you are one redeemed by him. Amen. So let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, according to your strict judgment, you condemn the unbelieving world through the flood. Yet according to your great mercy, you preserve believing Noah and his family, eight souls in all. You drowned hard-hearted Pharaoh and all his hosts in the Red Sea, yet led your people Israel through the water on dry ground, foreshadowing this washing of holy baptism. Through the baptism in the Jordan of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you sanctified and instituted all waters to be a blessed flood and a lavish washing away of sin. We pray that you would, on behalf of Noah, Mark, Stephen, that you would, according to your boundless mercy, bless him with true faith by the Holy Spirit, that through this saving water, all sin in him, which he has inherited from Adam, and which he will commit in his life, would be drowned and die, and that he be kept safe and secure in the holy ark of the Christian church, being separated from the multitude of unbelievers, and serving your name at all times with a fervent spirit and a joyful hope, so that with all believers in your promise, he may be declared worthy of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now for the two of you, for, for Casey and for Sandy. And accepting the responsibility of what it means to be a sponsor. See, parents realize that they need to have around their children good role models around them all the time. So traditionally, the church has set up this practice of being godparents or being sponsors. So this is what we're asking you to do. Look at those next words. From ancient times, the church has observed the custom of appointing sponsors for baptismal, or baptismal candidates. In the Lutheran church, sponsors are to confess the faith expressed in the Apostles' Creed and taught in a small catechism. They are, like you are today, whenever possible, to witness the baptism of those they sponsor. You're also asked to pray for them, support them in their ongoing instruction, and nurture in the Christian faith, and encourage them towards faithful reception of the Lord's Supper. You are at all times to be examples to them of the holy life of faith in Christ and love for their neighbor. So, Sandy and Casey, are you, it is, is it your intention to serve Noah, Mark, Stephen as a sponsor of the Christian faith? If so, would the two of you say together, yes, with the help of God? Yes, yes with the help of God. Now, may God enable you both to do this faithful work and, and help you to do something you can't do by yourselves. Amen. Let's turn the page. 
Noah cannot speak for himself, but today we're going to speak for him. His parents are going to speak for him. His sponsors are going to speak for him. And you and I, as brothers and sisters in Christ, are also going to speak for him with the prayer that one day, when he's old enough, he can learn about his faith, and on his confirmation day, he can say yes to these very words that we've said yes for him today. So as we go through this together on page 270, I'm going to ask all of you, everybody present here, to answer on his behalf and also to renew your own baptism, the pledges that you made there when you were baptized. So, Noah Mark Stephen Ciano, do you renounce the devil? Yes, yes I, I renounce, renounce him. him. Do you renounce all his works? Yes, yes I, I renounce him. him. Do you renounce all his ways? Yes, yes I, I renounce him. him. And do you believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes, I believe. And do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, who descended into hell and the third day rose again from the dead, who ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, who from thence will come to judge the living and the dead? Yes, I believe. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Yes, yes I, I believe. believe. Hold that just like that for me, if you could please. My turn, Sandy. You get this little guy. Hey, buddy. I know boys. <laughs> I've got three of them. I know these boys. Noah, Mark, Stephen, Siano. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Everybody say amen. 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 And he's been smiling at me the whole time I did that. That is beautiful. Mom and Dad, I now give you back your child, not only as your child, but now also as a child of God. And there's a napkin that I use right there. Okay, yeah. Got to get him in the right arm, right? It does make a difference. I love it. Beautiful. The Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you this new birth of water and the Spirit, has forgiven you all your sins, strengthened you in his grace to life everlasting. Amen. That's the Holy Spirit, by the way. <laughs> Definitely the Holy Spirit. Two things I want to give to you as a reminder of the baptism. Hey, Noah, buddy. First of all, Noah's wearing white right now, and that's a very appropriate color because white is the forgiveness that Christ has given to, the, to us. I give you this gown for him, this baptismal gown, as a reminder of his baptism and his baptism day. So that is for you to keep. It's okay. And then also with these words. So receive this white garment to show that you have been clothed with the robe of Christ's righteousness. And you can stand without fear before the judgment seat of Christ to receive the inheritance prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And also, I want you to receive your baptismal candle. So we light Noah's baptismal candle off the Christ candle, which we light on Easter morning to show us that Jesus Christ is very much alive, that he is the light of the world. Paul, I'm going to give that to you, like you are multitasking here, aren't you? With these words. So receive this burning light to show that you have received Christ, who is the light of the world. Live always in the light of Christ, and be ever watchful for his coming, that you may meet him with joy and enter with him into the marriage feast of the Lamb and his kingdom, which shall have no end. Amen. Who would you read that next part? Noah Mark Stephen. In holy baptism, God the Father has made you a member of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and an heir with us to all the treasures of heaven in the one holy Christian and apostolic church. We receive you in the name, in Jesus' name, as our brother in Christ, that together we might hear his word, receive his gift, and proclaim the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Let's welcome him together. Amen. Amen. We welcome, welcome you in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord. And we bow our heads to pray. Almighty and most merciful God and Father, we thank and praise you that you graciously preserve and enlarge your family and have granted 
to Noah Mark Stephen Ciano, the new birth of holy baptism, and made him a member of your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and an heir of your heavenly kingdom. We humbly implore you that as he has now become your child, you would keep him in his baptismal grace, that according to your good pleasure, he may faithfully grow to lead a godly life, to the praise and honor of your holy name, and finally with all your saints, obtain the promised inheritance in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And God's peace be with you all. You can pull that out, Paul. And when that is off, you can put that right in there. Okay, you guys can go back and be seated.